Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing well today. My name is Poison Blade and welcome to EVE or EVE Zoo, which is basically going to be my take on a modern realistic zoo. Although I'm not striving for like hyper realism, in any situation where I have to choose between aesthetics and realism, I will choose aesthetics because that's just how I am. If it's pretty, then it will pass. But we're starting off right now with Lemur Island because I didn't want to start with the entrance because I just didn't. I wanted to get right into it with the first habitat. Maybe the next episode will be the entrance. We will see. But we're starting off with Lemur Island and the main theme of today is circular. <laughs> like everything that we're going to be building today is circular. Lemur Island is circular. The indoor section that I forgot to record is sort of circular. And then the rest is also circular. But yeah, the idea when it comes to EVE Zoo is just a modern zoo without striving for too much or like for like hyper realism. Like it's supposed to be just this modern zoo that's like passable as realistic. But anyway, the reason why we're starting off with lemurs and not any other like bigger monkey, because that would probably have been the better way to start by having like a big enclosure or big habitat. But the reason why we're starting off with lemurs is because... I wanted a small island and all, all the other monkeys didn't fit. <laughs> so it was basically just like, yeah, I would like an orangutan as like the first animal that we had, but it didn't fit. So here you will also immediately see the indoor section that I forgot to record. But uh, yeah, we are starting off with lemurs just because those would fit on this island. So the entire habitat is just this outdoor island and then the indoor building that's across the pond or across the water, across the pond, and it's all tied together with some ropes. So there's no real guest interaction when it comes to the lemurs, like you won't be able to like get really close to them. The closest you will get to them is when they inevitably poop on your face walking across these ropes to their islands. But yeah, the indoor section is just there to have a place for the lemurs to go when the weather doesn't allow for them to go outside or when it's like night time. Just, well, every habitat basically has an indoor section. So because Eve is going for the more realistic look, they had to have an indoor section as well. But there's no real guest interaction because, I mean, well, unless you want to swim across the water, which probably none of the zoo staff will allow you to. <laughs> but yeah, the entire idea was just Let's build something that looks nice and is slightly realistic. That's just the entire concept with Eve. And you basically have to thank my scrollness for Eve. Like ever since Plan Zoo got released, I've gotten the occasional comment or message of like, hey, are you ever going to build a realistic zoo? And my answer would always be no. Because I was very comfortable building my fantasy zoos, building Kayana Bashar, building Valhalla, and then well, what happened was I was looking through Pinterest because that's where I get most of my inspiration nowadays for builds. But I was looking through Pinterest, looking for inspiration for Ken Obstar and Valhalla. So I was looking through like medieval buildings, concept art for games set in like the settings appropriate to my projects. And then in between all of that, there was a random modern building or modern like concept building like so some sort of like diorama yeah i was just looking through this list of medieval buildings arabian or middle eastern paintings and just concept art appropriate to my fancy projects and then there was this random modern building and my brain just went huh that's not supposed to be here like i wasn't looking for modern buildings i was explicitly looking for fantasy or medieval or just like that type of pictures like why is this here why is it oh pretty yeah you can thank eve to my or you can thank my short attention span and my scrollness to eve or for eve that was so grammatically incorrect but yeah if i wasn't like scroll brain then eve wouldn't exist and what we have ended up with now is a entire Pinterest board full of modern buildings or concepts for modern buildings. And just as with today's video, 90% of it is circular. <laughs> like 90% of the buildings and like the landscape design that I've pinned on that Pinterest board is in some way circular or in some way round. 
So yes, that happened and now we're building a realistic zoo. Or semi-realistic, because again, I'm not striving for hyper-realism. I'm letting that on to like pros who like really do realistic well. I am not pro when it comes to realism. Just look at my climbing structure. Like Eve is going to expose me for just not knowing how to build realistic climbing structures. I hope that throughout Eve's lifespan, like the more buildings or the more habitats that I built that require climbing structures, the better I will become at climbing structures. But so far, one of the things why I stuck with fantasy for so long is I don't know how to build realistic climbing structures. When it comes to fantasy builds, I could always get away with just building towers or having it set in an actual forest. When it comes to Eve, I can't do that. So yeah, you will see where I just completely flatline when it comes to climbing structures because I... Does this climbing structure work? Yes. Is it the best? No. <laughs> like I can already hear Lider or Ryder and just Zoof and everybody who builds realistic builds just like I can hear their agony. I can just hear it. I can feel it. But yes, again, it's not supposed to be hyper realistic and that's what I'm sticking with. Also, for some reason, and this is really just my Dutchness showing, I want to have a bicycle path throughout Eve. Like, I want you to be able to take like a safari or just a tour throughout the zoo on a bicycle. And yes, we Dutch people basically are born on bicycles. Like, when a Dutch woman gives birth, she lays down and just a baby comes rolling out or cycling out on a unicycle. Don't question me. That's completely fact. <laughs> of course, it's a joke, but yeah, bicycling is like, it's basically in the Dutch DNA to be on a bicycle at any given time. <laughs> but of course, me being Dutch and me trying to build something realistic was just immediately like, how can I integrate a bicycle path throughout this zoo? <laughs> But yeah, so today's video is not just the lemur habitat, it's also sort of the main plaza of the zoo. Like this is the place where if you meet up with anyone for like going through the zoo, this is the place where you go. Well, besides this part that I'm building right now, let's just all forget the hideous climbing structure that I just built. It's passable and you will probably get shit on when the lemurs go over you on that little area where the ropes go over the path. Like the lemurs will inevitably poop there. Like that's just a given, but maybe that just like that adds to the experience. Like that adds a fun story of like, hey, kids, one day dad got pooped on by a lemur. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so everything when it comes to this main plaza, or I don't even know if it's going to be the main plaza, like inevitably I will build something bigger. Like that's just something when it comes to me, that's just a poison blade thing. Inevitably things will get bigger. That's what he said in some way. Sadly, I don't know. <laughs> what is life? I have no idea really what to talk about when it comes to... Eve because I can't talk about brothels. I can't talk about murder. Like, I can't talk about all of this lore. Like, Eve is just supposed to be this sort of European, like, Northern European, Northwestern European zoo. Maybe it's set in the Netherlands because, again, bicycle paths. I am eventually going to include those. Yeah, Eve doesn't really have a backstory. Like for some time I thought like, hey, Eve, because it's like so hyper modern and I was just like, hey, maybe this is like a somewhat of like, a, how do you say it? A PR stunt by some like evil corporation trying to make it appear like they're far or vastly more positive than they actually are. Like maybe this is some kind of project by some like oil company trying to make it appear like, hey, we're not destroying the world. Look at the zoo that we built. But then it was also just like, yeah, uh, maybe you need to let the stories go for this project poison. But yeah, inevitably I will be able to talk about more random things. But here it's just like, hey, look at the hideous climbing structure. I know it's not hideous, but I am very, I would say, perfectionistic. And this is not how I wanted the climbing structure to come out, but I don't know how to make it better. Again, 
this is one of the things that I want to learn is to just become better at climbing structures because so far I'm just like I'm aiming for the moon and landing on a pile of dog shit. <laughs> yes, anyway, uh, let's move on to the thing that I am slightly better at, which is, well, foliage? <laughs> at least, like, the main thing when it comes to Eve is I want this suit to be very modern, but I don't want it to be, like, very rigid, very still and cool. Like, that's my opinion when it comes to modern builds, is that they very easily become very cold and very, like, that looking like they very easily just become these just white and gloss things where it doesn't really feel lively and the main thing when it comes to eve zoo is just to have it be very modern but also very lively like have it so that it feels like there's life in the zoo beyond the animals shitting on you so when it comes to like all of the foliage and such i don't want it to be like very rigidly structured like i don't want it to be like Oh, you have these plants very like meticulously planted in that section. I just want it to be sort of wild. And then because Eve is a modern zoo and also veering on the realistic side, I had to also think of building a, well, making it basically wheelchair accessible. So there's, whenever there's stairs, I also need to include a path so that wheelchairs can get up because of course, like wheelchairs can't get up the stairs easily. So trying to do that, I wanted to use the trick of like using the cues to make like a two meter path. Yeah, I'm not good at that. Or at least like it just didn't work for what I want. Like I spent legitimately an hour trying to make this part work, not even doing the scenery and like making it look good, just the part itself. I spent an hour trying to make it work with the queue and such to make it like a two meter pot instead of a four meter one. In the end, I just gave up and decided we have barriers right now. I can make a two or four meter pot and just hide two meters underneath the scenery. So that's what we went with because I didn't want to go through the mental anguish of trying to make this pot work the way I wanted it to. So yes, so far the climbing structure is not what I want to do and the wheelchair accessibility path or path stairs no ramp yes ramp <laughs> it's also not initially what I want to do but when it comes to the wheelchair ramp it actually still works I just need to put down the barriers so that the guests won't go and face through the walls like we're not going for that modern we're not going for teleporting <laughs> or phasing through walls. We are going to leave that to sci-fi movies. But yes, when it comes to this main plaza, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Again, I might be building something bigger later on. That's something that will always happen when it comes to my builds, but I'm so very happy with how all of this so far turned out. Everything is circular. There's a little bit of an idea for like the staff area or like the backstage area because Again, Eve is supposed to be veering on the more realistic side of builds, so there needs to be like a separate area for the staff as well. And I actually, well, I wasn't, well, I wanted to look for like the, like Disney has this shade of green that's like go away green that basically makes it so that like you are more inclined to look away from places that they don't want you to really spend a lot of attention towards so that you like don't see like the backstage areas of things and i wanted to find the color code of that i didn't succeed in that but i got a shade of green that's kind of close to it so yeah you'll see that shade of green and will immediately know that's a staff area or that's a backstage area if you see that shade of green you will know no this main plaza is not done by this point because that would be too much for one video like i already went through too much anguish trying to build a climbing structure trying to build this wheelchair ramp i also was just i think i would have been building too much if i made this entire plaza right now and next video might be the entrance might be building another habitat one of those two you guys get to decide if you want to see the entrance first or want to see another habitat first. 
I have no real idea for what the habitat is going to be after the Lemur Island. But Lemur Island is done now. Like everything when it comes to like the main part of the plaza is done. It's just how it's attached to the rest of the zoo or how it's going to be attached to the rest of the zoo. That still needs work on. But I'm so happy with this. Like I, I for the longest time, I will say this again, wasn't going to build a modern realistic zoo. And then my squirrelness decided, no bitch, you're going to build a realistic zoo right now because that's how inspiration works. It will knock you down when you don't want to and will leave you when you want. Yes, <laughs> that was a very accurate statement. <laughs> like you will always have the inspiration for things that you're not looking to. Like if you're looking for like building something fantasy like. You will get inspiration for something realistic. If you want to build something realistic, then the, the inspiration to build something realistic is just gone. Yes. Inspiration is just a weird thing. But yes, Eve is not supposed to be this huge project like Colonel Bashar Valhalla. But then I've said the same about Valhalla and Valhalla is now also a huge project. So let's hope that I be, am able to wrap Eve up before the end of Planet Zeus life cycle. I know for sure Ken Albashar will be there until, well, probably for the full next year. Well, maybe for the full half year. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. It was kind of a mess, but then what do you expect for Poison trying to build a modern thing? It's going to be a mess for the first few episodes. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, there's the like and subscribe button if you want to see more. Comment down below if you want to see a habitat next or the entrance. I'm happy to do both. And yeah, I just wish you all a wonderful day. There's also, I forgot to note, the notification button. But then that's as broken as my climbing structures. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.